Because this is faster than I didn't know what yours was. This is our cool ass kitty cat. Bleep. Alright, cool kitty cat. Wah, wah, wah. She asked to be petted. She, she, I go into the door and she's like, no, no, I want to be petted. She didn't want, she actually didn't want food. I offered her food and she, she waited for me. And then when I came out, she had me follow her over to this spot right here where it was sunny a moment ago. Now the sun's way over there. And then the kid came out and helped because he enjoys petting her. And then he petted her, and now she's saying, okay, I'm good. I lay in the quote-unquote grass. This is actually not a grass. It is called carpet beluga, That's I think. That's really cool. Oh, and okay. he just pulled it out. Okay. There were a ton of them right here. You need That's to fine, right? anywhere else anyways. And That's so this like. cool plant go. supposedly has some medicinal value of some kind. Absolutely I have no, no idea, idea what it is. is. If you are watching and you happen to research it and you look it up, please come back and put it down for the rest of the viewers what this is. Of course, even if somebody does that, go make sure you check it yourself. Yes, check the data. Anything. Yeah, don't yeah, always do research. It's a tiny bit of research before yourself, you try any plant. Even if it's like the best expert in the world. But I'm pretty sure you have to prepare it in some form. I think it's supposed to be good for the heart maybe too. But again, go do research. I have no earthly idea. I'm letting I you know I have no earthly idea. And my son just caught a mosquito. One less mosquito than the millions out there. <laughs> you got like that? Sorry. Any tender spots? But what's great about this plant that I love is that it never gets taller than this and it has a beautiful purple flower in the spring if it's in the sun. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It does require some water though. I do worry a little bit because these are all basically clones of each other. But. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. We're not clones. But they all I think they are clones. They all just reproduced. They have runners. Yeah, Isn't a runners. runner a clone? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, so they run it and they have runners and they runners, so instead of putting fruits uh, or like seeds, they just make runners. And, like this entire patch is probably like two or three plants. They just turn this entire patch. But it's all, it's all from plants. the same plant. It's all runner yeah, yeah, from the same plant. Yeah, you can see that. You can just feel the runners. You can feel the runners. This one, this one, actually, you know, pulled out so that more runners can get in place. Yeah. Should, should I do it right now? What? Pull out so, more? Yeah. Uh, well, it looks like you already have done it. <laughs> no, don't pull out anymore. It's fine. Just the idea is that way, you know, more, more They do roots. have nice long roots. And the idea, I think, was we were planning on covering so I didn't have to mow the grass. It's well, important. It's part of the yard. I mean, that's nice, right? Yeah. Over that over area. We have it on the edge because that way it doesn't, I don't it's have to edge, mow the edges so anymore. Nice, yeah. Although then I do have to mow the part where the grass comes into it. <laughs> so I guess that kind of defeats the point, but. Well, if you, if you get rid of that part, then you can. But at least then when I mow the grass, when it, when the pieces come over, it doesn't come all the way over here, and so it's easier to sweep up. The problem is they like to stay along the edges, not inside. Yeah, oh, I like that. That's what I like about no, it. I want it to come in. Oh, it will eventually. I mean, look at that one. Look how it thickened out on there. Yeah, that one, yeah, that one got a lot, a lot of water, though. Yeah. They, they, they love water and are pretty happy about having sun. And kitty cat loves this. You can't give them too much sun, though. Right, yeah, they, they need their shade plant. You want them they in the shade. They are shade plant, but in the spring, you want them in the sun. Spring, uh, sun, all the oh, time. Oh, yeah, spring, you want them in the sun just to have the cool purple flowers, but any other time of the year, you want them in the shade. Yeah, and you want to make sure you give them lots of water, like lots of water. They love water. Yeah. Which is why they do best in this. This area has water runs down this area. Right. Ah, cat. Wow. Yeah. Oh, she's so cute. Ow, that hurts. I do not have a glove on. This is not a sock, this is my hand. Oh, look at the tongue sticking out. Can you see the tongue sticking out? Come over here. I know, I zoomed in. Yeah. Yeah. I love it when she sticks her tongue out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That always tells me she's happy. She's like, I'm good. I know she's happy. She's 
sometimes she doesn't like right when she like she's about to bite me. Oh. So I don't think she's like she's kind of for plain for plain slash go away or something or I don't know. Sometimes it's plain. Sometimes it's I usually interpret her as just her being silly. I interpret it as her being relaxed. Her purring is her being relaxed. Is she purring right now? No. Right. Are you there, Angie? No, she's right now. Hey, Lava Tai. What? I want a picture of her, like a zoomed in picture with her in the tongue. I have a picture of her. I have a picture of her tongue out on my Instagram. Yeah. Her go to Eagle P. Designer's Journey and you'll go see a picture of her tongue sticking out. Ow! Ah! <laughs> Hello, cat. <laughs> like, you, she doesn't actually bite. She just, she just kind of sticks her tooth there very gently. Yeah, so yeah, it kind of goes. He, he Eagle has finally learned. You leave your hand still when uh, the dog or cat bites you. I don't know about dog or cat, or I don't know about other cats or other dogs, but definitely with this cat. Yeah, and probably with most cats, especially yeah. if, they're, if they're if they've been around you for a while, then most cats, yes, probably. Yeah, the important thing is to learn, you, the time you're going to get damaged is when you yank your hand away and then you're going to pull against the teeth and they're going to actually bite down harder when you pull away. And when I leave so, my hand there, she kind of just opens her mouth really wide and kind of just holds, kind it. Of just holds it, but very gently. So yeah. she she releases a half second later and I can pull my hand back Yeah. when she's done. Otherwise, I mean, it doesn't hurt. It just feels like someone's touching you. So allowing her to reprimand you. <laughs> That's her way of reprimanding you, saying, I don't like that. Yeah. But the important part is to hold very still and just wait patiently until she's like, okay, you got my message? And you say, yes, I got your message. Yeah. Ooh, wind. Uh, can you see all see the wind? Window vision. It is a beautiful fall day out here for us in this garden. First one of, the, of uh, first, first fall day of actually. And that's the second fall day, I think. First. No, well, the other First day we were in the pool, so. Last, year, last night it was pretty nice, too. Yes, last, last night. Year. Oh, I kept the windows open until the mosquito truck came by. Yeah, the mosquito truck. Why did you always do it on the nicest of days? I mean, seriously, oh my gosh. What? Why did you always do it on the nicest of days? Yeah, you're upset with that. You're a mosquito truck company. Can you all not come by on the nicest of days when we want to have the windows open? Well, come by on a hot, summer, humid day. And actually, if you're a neighborhood, you really shouldn't have a mosquito truck coming by at all because it makes the mosquitoes resistant. Yeah, which is annoying. It's why I have to catch more of them. Yeah. <laughs> and you really don't want resistant mosquitoes because should the West Nile or whatever come through in your city, you want and to be able screwed. to get rid of them. Yeah. yeah. Only kill mosquitoes when it's either summer and it's like there's lots of them, or if there's their colony disease or something. Right. If it's not like a lot of them. And they're not well, okay. Definition of a lot of them, though. Everybody's gonna have different it means definitions. Means when you of walk that. outside, right in your porch step, you get like ten flying around your foot. That's always. Five sitting on that's your That's the leg. whole summer long. No, not. No. Yeah. In the summer, it's fine that you you pour this out some in the middle of summer. And that's what they do. That's when they pour it out. Yeah, but once it hits like, unless there's a disease, they're carrying disease, then once it hits, like, I don't know, September, even if it isn't that cold yet, you still turn off. Well, the problem is, Eagle, so if, when they do it every week or twice a week, um, only the resistant mosquitoes survive, mm -hmm. and so then the resistant mosquitoes breed. Yeah, so as long as you don't do it too often. Right. So it really should only be done once yeah, a month. So sure, yes. Yeah. So once a month, if it's, like, summer, or if there's um, a disease coming through. And if you want to compensate for it, instead of having a lawn of grass, Bermuda grass, have a lawn of thyme. Instead of having all these other ornamental plants, have mint. Which, by the way, seriously, it costs about as much. No, no, absolutely not. Thyme is like three times as expensive. You can make a small amount of your yard bit for the same amount. I disagree. You can buy this grass for like 99 cents a really? big batch, yeah. Are you kidding me? No. Well, it's really cheap to buy grass. Okay, fine. Still, you can put thyme in there anyways, or rosemary. Put lots of rosemary bushes. Instead of the other in the wing bushes, you can put rosemary bushes. It looks just as good as long as you cut them. The rose is fast. Mm -hmm. You just cut them to the right size. And seriously, you can get a Christmas tree. If you grow a ray, it'll go from this size to this size in about two years. For a rosemary Christmas tree? Yeah, rosemary bushes. Yeah. Meow.
The cat's a, a grass flattener. It's not grass, I guess it's flat. All right, we chatted enough. Have diversity in your grass. And make sure you subscribe to see all of our cool, helpful hints and ideas. And maybe if you want to help us donate to our garden, we can put edible flowers in here. That would be cool. But basically, we want to teach you how to do edible gardening with low water maintenance. And that even you in your own apartment, if you live in an apartment, you can have an edible oasis. We will hold your hand through it if you want us to consult with us. We charge $1.50 a minute or a $100 minimum session. And subscribe to us on Patreon.com. The prices. the prices will go up, probably. If we ever become famous. What? If we ever become famous. Yeah, get a watch cheap. Although, if we ever become famous and make lots of money, then we're going to go and help people. We want to make a TV show where we help people transform their balconies and their... Um, yeah, sure. Uh, backyards into edible oasises and so we'll do a non-profit company but that's a long time in the future when we are famous and have lots of money right now we just need help with our own bills Aww, come on, so we offer consulting services for body listening and for creating an edible oasis because anybody can have one if you have a little bit of money even if you don't have a little bit of money it is possible to do it if you're not too lazy. You can get a Guarania plant for like really cheap. I don't have actually no idea where you would get a Guarania plant. We got ours from a friend. Okay, fine. You get it from a friend for really cheap. You get it from us. You can get it from us. Not this year, next year. Yeah, Guarania plants, Moringa plants. All really good stuff. Yeah. Once you get a few seeds, a few plants of purslane, a few seeds of purslane, you can get a half dozen plants, and then you'll, next year you'll have a million purslane plants. I like to ruin the cracks on your sidewalk. So subscribe to our Hoping for a Garden channel, dot com, Hoping for a Garden, dot com. Just go to the Patreon dot com slash KE, sign up for a dollar, or go to makersupport dot com slash Credit Eagle and look at the list, or go to creditegle.com and go to the menu bar and look at all our YouTube channels and sign up to every and single one of them. And we'll teach you all about being in harmony with life. I think almost all our links are on creditegle.com. Yeah, so under the menu, menu section. In the menu section for now, yeah. All right, so as we always want you to do at the end of all of our videos, check your posture, body listening, check your listening to yourself, listen to yourself <laughs> of how you feel, what you need, are you thirsty? Go outside if you can and enjoy the beautiful day. Yeah. Look at clouds. See, beautiful clouds. We send you lots of love. Yum. Thank you so much for being connected to us. Everybody doing ohm? Ohm. <laughs> Big yawn. Oh, looky squirrel! Drinking <laughs> from our water and container. And cats like, ah, Yeah, if you're hungry, cat, go up to the squirrel. <laughs> Squirrels that way. Let's frighten the squirrel. All right. As always. And as always. Thanks, thanks for watching. And remember, just, just breathe. breathe.